Well, all England hoping for a win tonight. Um, there may be some uh, people cheering you on in Scotland and Wales and Ireland uh, as well today, but it all kicks off at 8 o'clock this evening, Paul. Will, will there? Will there be? Yeah. Will yeah. everybody be cheering England on, do you think? Not everybody, but I think there'll be, <laughs> okay. I think there'll be, I think there'll be a fair amount. I, I, I'm always off the view, you can't cheer these players on in the Premier League every week yeah. and then boo them and, and be against them, you know? Yeah, well, so, the thing is, we look at the Premier League, though, and the amount of countries that are represented at the yeah, Euros, yeah. the teams that are playing there. I didn't mention it's the sixth major semi-final that England have got to. The first one was back in 66 uh, when England played Portugal and obviously went on to win the win the World Cup. At that time, Portugal, 100%, they were unbeaten and England managed to turn it around because even at the start of 1966, so I'm looking back in the history, trying to make things feel better, that it was a bit of a wobbly start until... The momentum built. So then it was 1990, and then the, the World Cup at Italia, then that was went out on penalties, then it happened in Euro 96. So the penalties are looking good, the momentum is on its way, and I'm quietly confident. I think there's some fans as well, isn't there? So There are, yeah. We were out and about in, in Germany talking to some fans, and this is how they're feeling. This is what they've had to say. Okay. I don't think we're going to make it to the final, especially after what's been going on these few couple of games. I think we're going to make it to the final. What are you? Same thing, really. I think they're going to make it, yeah. I'm not quite sure. It's not been very exciting up to press, so we shall see. England have played well so far. It's just Southgate's not really put the team, the players in the right position and all that. Like he has made quite a few hiccups, and loads of people have been complaining about Southgate. So I well, hope England do win, but if they don't, then nah, nah. it's just normal for England. <laughs> but we can only hope. Yeah. So it's coming home? Yeah, it's coming home, man. It's coming home. <laughs> yeah, it's coming home. The match tonight? I'll watch it. Mm. So, yeah, that's about it. And yeah. my husband, as you know, will be in Amsterdam to watch it. So yes. he's about the only Englishman We could have there. a party then, yeah. you and me. Yeah. We could skip well, the well, cocktail right. You don't have to be like... up early in the morning, okay. do you, exactly. tomorrow? You'll have yeah. to let me... See, the thing is, I've got the quandary there. I'm usually... Nine o'clock is bedtime. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to be staying up. Say it goes to extra time, and then extra it goes to Extra long nap, It's all in the nap. I know. I'm going to be there for it. But uh, Gareth Southgate has been speaking as well. Do we want to hear from Gareth? You want I mean, a word from really, Gareth? not really, but I think it's, we have to. But the thing is, you know what it's going to be. You know, yeah. we heard some of the fans, and it seems to be Gareth Southgate is the one that we're more worried about than anybody else <laughs> of how his tactics are going to be. Well, yeah. The players seem to really like him, so should we they give him some it. credit and have a listen? Absolutely. This is now uh, the chance to make history, which we've enjoyed doing that. Um, chance to, uh, to get to the first final, not not held in England. First time England will have ever done that. So we're we're trying to break new ground. That's difficult and it's complicated. Uh, well, when I looked at the match last night, let's talk about Spain uh, against Ooh. France. I think France very like England. They don't score many goals. Right. They went ahead. I mean, after eight minutes, I thought, well, this is them. They'll defend this and, and they'll do this. But to have all goals in the game done by 25 minutes was, was quite strange. It was, but it, it was exciting. It was, mm. it was at least we saw a game where it was like there were two teams going against each other. I think the one of the, the main things about Euro 24 is how tired players look. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we can argue until the cows come home, these are young players, these are young, fit men that shouldn't have any problem, but it has affected them. So it seems to have affected the games, but it was a really exciting game yesterday. And, and one more thing, and that's Ivan Tony. Now, Ivan Tony with the no-look penalty that he scored against Switzerland. Have you seen this, Eamon, about this thing that's been going around about Ivan Tony? And he's, uh, there's been a little film here, and I, and this, I absolutely so love it. Don't look at anything. Don't look at... See, this I've, has gone viral. I've started not looking at anybody <laughs> or anything while I'm doing it. It's, it's like this. Have, have a look at this. This is okay. great. Here Connect we are. Four. No, no look, oh, no look dangerous. darts. Dice. Dice. Connect four. A triple bullseye. <laughs> yeah, right. No look reading. That's a good one. There we are. Look at that. Look at that. So, so we, he, he, I'm, I'm glad he's, he's plays it up, but he, um, you know, takes the the fun aspect to it all. But what happens if it goes to penalties? Huge game, semi final of the Euros. He has to take a penalty, and everybody's expecting. Yeah, that's what they're trained don't, for. Yeah, but don't look. Don't he's look. going to be doing all this again. Yeah. He gets away with it until he misses.
Exactly. And then, yeah. and then there'll be and a lot, exactly lot of criticism of that one. <laughs> I think, like I said before, the future is no-look goalkeeping. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, let's go to Theo Chikombo now. He's got an interview with Manchester City defender. Let's have a listen to that. Oh, it's coming. It's, on it's, its worth way. It's on oh, its here way. it comes. Yeah. Setting the stage to celebrate sporting excellence, St Gregory's Catholic Science College students in Harrow put on a show for parents and fellow students. Give a warm welcome and invite both Braden and Courtney up to the stage. Thank you. With dozens of awards up for grabs, teachers recognised the efforts made by pupils this year. Sporting families are a recurring feature tonight. Paddy is a great team player in a number of sports but also a great track runner. And it is tonight that we recognise his achievements this year. He represented the school in the Borough Championships and then got selected to run for Middlesex County against the best athletes in London, many of whom are affiliated to athletic clubs and train three times a week. Offering a helping hand was former student and special guest Luke Mbete, who shared encouraging words for budding athletes and their families. Parents, guardians, teachers, continue to support and create healthy environments for our future stars. Students, continue to better yourselves, appreciate your family and friends, and enjoy these occasions. Most importantly, don't forget to study. <laughs> During Luke's time at the school, he played for Brentford Academy before joining Manchester City as an under 12. He's gone on to play and train with some of the biggest stars in the Premier League, represent England and have loan spells at Huddersfield, Bolton Wanderers and Den Bosch in the Netherlands. He credits the school and his family for his success. They helped me, you know, um, they helped me a lot, you know, throughout my development. They helped me balance out, you know, school and football. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just grateful for what they've done for me. Obviously, coming back home, it means a lot to me and to have my family alongside me as well. It means, it means so much. Meanwhile, as tonight's England versus Netherlands match edges closer, who are his favourites to win as he has colleagues on both teams? No, I'm confident. You know, they've got a squad of good players. Uh, they've got a lot of talent in that team. So I'm confident that they'll, they'll do well and the whole nation is behind them, supporting them. So, you know, I was born and raised in England, so I'll be rooting for England. As for the potential stars at this school, what better way to be inspired by a former student who's at the top of his game with the hope that one day they'll be able to follow in his footsteps. The Age Comba, GB News.